Hello, this is Walter Urs Schmidt speaking, winning, award-winning author of the book on Super Yacht Sales, entrepreneur, sales, communication, and crisis management coach. And now today here, I'm really proud, I'm happy to have a guest with me. Obviously in this time of crisis anyway, not too close to me. I hope you apologize that I'm not sitting beside you, so we keep social distancing. But this is Egon Feis. Egon Feis, who is Egon Feis, by the way? He's the founder and the owner of the company Neche Group. Neche Group is specialized in building the dimensions of yachts, from super yachts to special vessels to small yachts, whatever actually your desire is, the company is able to build it, located with the company in Germany. And today for an interview with me available, Thank you very much, Egon, for your time. You're welcome. Appreciate that. And yeah, let's talk about a little bit now more in details. Who are you? Tell me who are you and what are you doing? Well, um, actually, my technical background or my professional background is uh, I'm an electrical engineer. Yeah? Uh, and I got introduced to the yacht market by a very good friend who was once a professional football player in Germany in the National League. Yeah? And he introduced me to a shipyard. And as, as life is turning from time to time, at that point I got the, the idea to create my passion of water and, uh, and yachting and technology, uh, realized uh, and switched uh, to, in collaboration with a shipyard in Turkey, uh, to that business. Yeah? But uh, Pearl, I, I worked uh, the complete management and uh, the marketing of that uh, shipyard in Turkey. And so uh, we, we, we did a good, very, a very good job. Uh, we, I started in 2000, by the way. Uh, we had 25 employees at that time. In 2008, uh, where the crisis started, unfortunately, uh, we were at 450 workers. So uh, we had a a huge increase in, in, the, in the factory. We had around uh, 10 boats, around 40 meters in average length under construction when the crisis started and we got damage as well at that time. So we have to redefine everything what we, what we are doing. Uh, nobody thought in our shipyard that it takes so long uh, that uh, uh, 2008 break. And uh, then we, I, I thought it's time to start now a little bit switching to the uh, more environment friendly um, proportions and uh, handling of boats and yachts. Uh, so uh, based on my original professional uh, as an electrical engineer, I thought to, to integrate this into the boat building where we started at that time the first, the world first uh, uh, yacht concept based on a catamaran uh, doing completely autonomous uh, ranging. Uh, and so uh, we, we did a good job at that time. Huh? And uh, now uh, demands are increasing, especially in that uh, area. And we are going also to commercial boats, to commercial passenger boats and also integrating uh, systems with the hydrogen remote. So that means, as a conclusion, you have a really, really high experience in boating, construction. Yeah. And as an engineer, of course, a huge and very, very useful background, to say so. It helps a lot, yeah. <laughs> it helps a lot, I guess so, I believe you. And also the transition to now making the switch from a non-environmental healthy to an, an environmental friendly or friendlier propulsion i think that's a huge shift and shift is that's actually the word that's going on right now shifting so a lot of things are changing and you what you went through already to a huge problem situation such as 2008 so you know a little bit how maybe this could end up with this corona virus crisis in in the environment and also in the economy of yachting which affects not only you of course but many 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 other companies also in the yachting industry now you have mentioned the change from the propulsion from the regular propulsion into the more 
environmental friendly. That's something that I can realize in many different other shipyards. It's, it's taken up a little bit, so they're getting more aware. Now, obviously, the virus is not really a helpful issue that happens now in this time. Not, yeah. And as I also recognize that the yachting industry just came up with, with, uh, with something completely, let's say, new in spirit and in energy, just was about to go in good the last few years. People were saying, yeah, now it's really time uh, and the time to reveal. And now this happens. So what are your thoughts about how people in this industry, how do they feel most probably as you are in this industry as well? What, what is the feeling like in terms of what is the, what is the future looking like? Uh, is the question mentioned to the to the customers or to the people in the business itself? Let's start with the people in the business itself. So the workers uh, and the brokers, etc. Well, uh, we have to know uh, there are many boats claiming uh, to be a green boat. Yeah? What does that mean to be a green boat? Uh, we, we can extend this discussion uh, to an uh, un, 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 uh, uh, endless uh, uh, point, uh, but uh, I think, from my point of view, uh, we, we have to consider that uh, the oil uh, a boat is burning during during his uh, his lifetime. Uh, uh, this is uh, what's affecting our our world economy uh, environment very hard. Uh, so uh, we we have to think about how to handle a boat. Uh, how to manage it yeah? and in the background when you, uh, uh, the people who are building these boats who are designing and engineering these boats have to know what is very important on these um, to, to, to get these results done. Yeah? And so the, the results uh, needs to be a very lightweight boat, it needs to be a high technology and parallel a very safe handling of the boat. Uh, don't make things more complicated, make things simpler uh, so that also the crew, uh, all the people who are around such a boat uh, uh, have fun with, with this boat, with this concept uh, and uh, does not uh, make a headache every day and or even every hour. Uh. Like you get more work to do than with the old versions of boats rather going into the simplicity, which is a topic that affects every economy, as I realize in observations. Yeah. And what do you think is that crisis that happens now, does that help you right now to have more time to work on, well, on the development of the solar or alternative energy well, uh, driven boats? Yeah, for sure. For sure it helps in the moment because we can we can step a little bit back, uh, go into the office, into the computers, into the engineering, in the communications with all the professionals in the world, uh, um, and uh, then really create something fantastic out of these uh, things, uh, what we have in mind. Uh, before the crisis, before the corona, everybody was was like this uh, in, in, in the world. Uh, Fight, uh, like a fight fight, fighting yes. uh, and claiming to have the best product, etc., etc., and in the end, the results are counting. Yeah? What uh, what you can present, uh, what will be in the end the uh, reliability of of a project, and uh, and the functionality of a of a boat, and uh, there there is a very old speech uh, in the in the in the business. There are two happy days uh, of an owner. The first one when he gets the boat, and the last one when he okay. he he gets rid of the boat. Uh, so we have to get in between that mm -hmm. uh, uh, time, so that happy owners will really be happy owners. Huh? And in the end, happy owners have happy happy crews. Huh? And so the, it, it's matching. The circle must match. Huh? Uh, so uh, we, we are in a very good uh, performance then in the end uh, the boat the crew and uh, as well the, the owner yeah yeah and so it helps of course a lot uh, to redesign some points on the boats uh, especially as uh, in the moment 
my personal feeling, hydrogen is a very big point uh, in, in our industry yeah? uh, where we need, uh, we, we cannot uh, go with a, with a 50 meter boat only uh, powered by solar power panels. Uh, this will not work, uh, that's for sure. Um, therefore, we need other sources. And uh, for me, uh, I'm convinced that hydrogen is that source. Okay, okay. So you actually use also this time now to develop yourself and also in terms of the, the technology of the development of it. Yeah. How, how do you work or are you, is that is that something that like coming to, to become a get together more right now than before, as you said before, before it was elbowing, right? Like, leave me alone, well, that's my space. So what's going on right now? Can you feel something like more based on that for all of the fear of the people that they more getting together to cooperate or is it still the same that is everyone's looking for surviving by himself is there some observations that you could actually make or well, like? I, I do not have really a feeling what is the right or the wrong answer on that huh? because um, uh, I have, since I'm 20 years in the business, I have many good and friendly and, and partnership uh, contacts uh, to whom I can rely. I know who is reliable and who is not. Huh? Um, so uh, people who are in, in the market for a long time and who are reliable, uh, uh, these are finding together in times like this in the moment much more than people who are only going elbow riding <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> yeah honestly. um as you are in this industry right now with the solar power boats and alternative power do you have anything to showcase as an example what you are into in uh, maybe in construction or under development to show here a little bit what what is what is your work that you are on right now well we we have under development in the moment uh, several boats huh? especially on the on the eco-friendly point uh, mainly in the moment uh, it's rather to the commercial side huh? mm -hmm. uh, small passenger boats uh, for for swiss lakes huh? where you are from yeah uh, so um you love course, clear air like like in the like in the mountains well, yeah. we'll have, to have them also out on the lake so that would be a good approach <laughs> yeah and uh, also in the caribbean huh? area we have some some uh, developments and, and partnerships going on to interconnect the islands together uh, uh, there we have the second biggest uh, or largest um, coral reef in the world uh, mm -hmm. where we want to cover with a, with a, with a speed boat electric speed boat uh, for tourism uh, and uh, and so these things are coming up in the moment uh, uh, I can show you some of the project. Great, wonderful if you can show some things so that we actually get a picture on how that looks like and yeah. the real information, what is expecting. Yeah. So, second. And I think also that this is something that is more and more common as the environment friendly approach is a huge ongoing process. So that helps a lot, I think, also in the yachting industry. Is that correct? Yes, for sure. Uh, I think uh, we, everybody who is staying on board the yacht uh, and who is going from the yacht to some nice beaches, uh, and he he has to jump over a lot of garbage. Uh, he has to think there must be something wrong in, the, in this world. Uh, so protect our own feel where we are walking through uh, to have really a, a much better lifestyle in the end uh, by keeping everything as clean as possible so now, what you I, show us here right now looks like looks like a small catamaran yes uh, it is a 12 meter catamaran um uh, based on a on a very efficient hull concept uh, uh, it's solar powered uh, and we can offer this as a either a full battery powered uh, solution as well as a hybrid solution. 
in different layouts uh, on the deck. No? Mm -hmm. So this will be uh, something what we are, what we intend to use in the Caribbean. Yeah? Um, uh, other than that, uh, you can see here now uh, the, the te technical part, the, 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 the layout part in a launch configuration so that we also can offer a business class kind of uh, traveling uh, on these kind of boats. Huh? Some, that is something that I would love to have just for me privately to go a little bit for a ride on a sunny nice day. Yeah. Um, it's, it's, it's obviously designed as you speak so for commercial, but could that also be used regularly on a regular basis from private people? Yes, on the same hull we already delivered the uh, concept which is based uh, on that hull, but with the, uh, which includes a two cabin uh, and a huge uh, living area uh, on on the main deck. Yeah? So you can use it for multiple purposes, uh, which which gives you the, the best idea, and for sure. This is, a, for example, a boat where we are very competitive in the prices, huh? mm -hmm. uh, because this is uh, the other point. When you are going uh, through custom-built boats that size, then you are talking most likely double the price than this one, which is based on a semi-construction uh, solution. Huh? So um, can... I will not ask you now for the price. Let the pre let the price be aside. <laughs> okay. Just half price is fine already. That sounds already good. But yeah, well, that means also it, it becomes more affordable than it used to be, right? Yes, yeah. Therefore, for, for customers, very interesting in that terms, as you can do it also in a way, in a layout for private use, for not only for commercial. Yeah. Well, what do you think now in terms of this size of boats and what's going on right now? Do you have a perspective um, about when it is well when the market will reveal right now to, to to come to that state that it's possible again to sell boats well the the main question is how long it will take uh, for this cor coronavirus uh, situation um, <laughs> nobody can tell you we hope uh, I, rather tomorrow uh, or the next day should be because we are living in the in the travel industry we are living in the in the tourism business uh, and all of these are blocked in the moment uh, so um, this is the, the critical point uh, uh, we are we are stand by to to, to to start the production to the to these boats uh, mm -hmm. and we hope that we we can satisfy many many uh, operators let's say in the future very soon now, that leads me to a very, very important question right now, which is, as the business is locked down, it's completely on hold. I mean, you're not the only one. So there are a lot of other companies, a lot of other yacht companies, builders, producers, charters, and brokers. Beside that business to survive, now it's the time to really think differently, to really broaden up your thoughts, to open up your horizon, and you cannot maybe stick on one particular business case or business way on how to make revenue. And is there anything else that actually you're doing to survive? Or have you found another way to, to bring some things into the market, maybe also even based from the yachting part, let's say solar power driven boats into something maybe completely different that keeps your business alive that you are ready when, when when everything is over and the yacht market comes back that you are still here i mean that needs money you have to raise money somewhere yes how do you do that or what do you do well uh my second business is in the moment my first business so it switched a little bit uh, uh, I have a second business running in Germany uh, where we are doing special items in the environment friendly uh, uh, part. Huh? So uh, let's say we, we are a distributor here, for example, for solar pavement systems, huh? which we all also can bring into, into the boat business, especially in the marinas, huh? where we can do flooring in the floors. We can 
get the power out of the of the ground. Ne? Uh, power means solar, electric power, ne? where we can store them in um, either in batteries or also in hydrogen. So it's more or less the same. Ne? And uh, in Germany, we are getting more and more inquiries regarding autonomous uh, houses, ne? which is every house is an island. In that case, uh, we are going off grid from the grid. Ne? Um, uh, so that uh, people can generate their own hydrogen, okay. which means the green hydrogen. Yeah? Um, and so we, that, that's more or less the same technology what we are using in the, in the boats later on. Yeah? And this is a good field uh, to, to do this uh, experience here on the ground. So actually what you did somehow or sort of is that combination from yachting with solar power you use now as well more for this present moment anyway to build up the other company or to grow there your revenue has also a part of survival opportunity yep. and by the way of any anyway everything that goes into the environmental friendly part or way is an upcoming it's a yeah it's an upcoming market that grows and grows so yep. you have found actually a very good way as i can imagine to to make this combination still being in the yachting business on hold but being ready develop everything that you can and you do to be ready once it's over and in the meantime right now you're focusing more on the other business as well to make sure that you stay alive that you can be in the market and not really completely going down because once you are down when you really shut down it's becoming almost impossible to reveal again. I could yeah. imagine, especially the yachting market, as you need to be somewhere visible and you have to be alive, sort of, to be ready, because it's not like something, it's it's not a necessity. Yachts are not a necessity. Of course, I can show you, right? I will give you an example on what, what we are doing there. Yeah, yeah that would be great. So. You can see it here. We are doing uh, the sun uh, smart flower systems uh, here in Europe. Uh, that's the pavement system in the middle uh, mm -hmm. where we can install everywhere. We have wind trees. Uh, wind so trees? What, what wind are trees? Yeah, it's, it's uh, wind turbines. There are 36 wind turbines on one uh, tree <laughs> yeah, uh, so that you can uh, generate the power as well. And then uh, on the bottom, you can see the, the hydrogen uh, solution where we can go really off grid. We, we are doing the, the power, the electric power, as well as the heating uh, on houses. And so this gives us a very good, um, good uh, over, uh, over coming to the, to the business that uh, gives, gives us a good, um, a good uh, standing. No, no question about this tree. And I've never seen some, something like that. Do they turn there or are they in some things like protect? Yeah, these are small turbines inside huh? and they're turning. They are turning. Yeah. So if the birds are going to the tree, it doesn't hurt them because they are... They exactly. Actually... Yeah. Okay. Would that work as well on the yachts? No, no? it's too heavy. <laughs> From my point of view, I'm, I'm a lightweight boat builder. Huh? So I'm looking for every kilo. Uh, which is useless somewhere. Yeah? Uh, what I can could cost, consider is another solution which we already have under development. Yeah? Um, but it, that's still secret yeah, what we are doing there. And uh, we will come out in the market uh, in a few months yeah, with that project uh, so that you can see also a very nice integrated wind technology in a solar electric driven boat. Wow. So that is something really nice coming out. Yeah. Once that is out, I would suggest that we meet together again because such news, I think it's worth that people know about that. Yeah. It would be a shame to leave it in the garage, having a Ferrari and nobody knows about that. So that would be great. If you agree right now already that you make a statement, yes, once it's out, we're going to meet again here to yeah. make another showcase about that. For sure. Yeah, I can show you much more. I would love to stay on board with you or even show a video how it works. Uh, that's in the end, the result is counting, nothing else. Uh, 
And so this is what we are fighting for every day. So it seems like Egon Feist is a genius. Now, as we have this present moment with the crisis, and you have mentioned so many options and ways on how to look a little bit sideways with the business to be sure to, to, to stay alive. Maybe that's something that also the listeners is very interesting to see what else, what else is possible for you to make rather than only sticking on one business once you're not sure if whether it survives or not it depends most probably as well whether it's the big boats the super yachts or the smaller boats or the tenders even very just very small boats for the lakes which is not their market i could guess as well so that's something that you can you can keep in mind for yourself find your way based on where you are now based on what you love to do, based on maybe a hobby you have done up to now that you can turn into a business to support what is going on right now, which is on hold. Mm -hmm. Now with this said, I want to leave you some minutes for you as well. Whatever you want or would like to share as a final words for business owners in the yachting industry. What is your last words? to support and empower and also encourage business owners and also employees, of course, in the yacht industry. What is it? Well, uh, first of all, stay all healthy yeah? uh, and try to, to come through this crisis uh, in, a, in, a, in a good shape, with a good shape, with a good future perspective yeah? and that the crisis is not as, as long as the, the last one uh, uh, was and affected. Yeah? So uh, I hope that uh, we all will find us uh, in a in a very good uh, environment in the end uh, uh, to to have really the best uh, prosper uh, 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 future view and uh, so let's let's go that way that everybody tries to stick together uh, tries to do their best uh, to get interesting ideas out to the market. Mm -hmm. And uh, stay stay straight in the in the mentality, yeah. And uh, this is um, I I was sometimes too straight uh, and too honest, uh, but I will stay on this uh, point because this is wh where I'm can sleep every night very well, yeah? uh, and this is what I'm I'm doing and which keep me alive the past twenty years. Thank you very much for your very important words being honest and being also able to sleep well and yeah hopefully as well that also the yachting shows coming up as soon as possible because that will bring fresh air into the whole situation right now as well yeah. and thank you very much Egon Feis mm -hmm. founder and owner of Netship Group for a huge huge inspiring personality that can bring your dreams into reality. With this said, I thank you very much. And yeah, as well, stay safe. You too, Walter. Yeah. Thank you very much. And also thank you for the interview and take care. We keep in touch. Thank you for the time. Okay. All right. Thank you very much and have a wonderful okay. day for the listeners too. Stay tuned, stay safe, make your things happen. And don't lose your courage, stay brave, stay energized, and also stay enthusiastic because enthusiasm is something that we really need. So do some things for you, for your health, do something for your business, for your employees, for your family, for everybody who's around you, and make sure that you do things. So stop talking about anything that doesn't help you and get it done with yep. this. Have a wonderful day day, night, wherever you are on this world. Thanks. Bye.